thing we'll talk about ASA security levels. Now security levels will decide what traffic is allowed between the interfaces in general. So before we go to the security levels, so most of the network designs, uh, most of the firewalls will be configured with different policies between between the interfaces. Like you have some internal LAN and you want to make sure that the traffic going from LAN to the internet need to be restricted or you want to implement some kind of security policy like what traffic you want to allow uh, to the internet or what who, who, who can access uh, resources in the land from the internet something like that at the same time you want to implement some kind of security policy to access the resources inside your DMZ where you place all your servers at the same time you want you you also want the user sitting on the on the internet should be able to access your internal servers now this all traffic which is moving from LAN to internet or maybe from LAN to DMZ or maybe from DMZ to internet so it, it passes through the firewall. Now on the firewall we need to configure some security policies and these security policies will decide. So we got some inside interface outside in the DMZ this is a common uh, naming what we use for each uh, network uh, technically we could refer as security zones or we can say network segments. Now now basically uh, most in any network most of the requirement is like from the inside network which means from the LAN I, I want to make sure that all the users sitting in the LAN should be able to access internet at the same time I want the users sitting in the LAN should be able to access some DMZ these are like common rules which we uh, follow but at the same time we can decide what what traffic is allowed what traffic should not be allowed but basically I'm, I'm just going with the basic uh, normal rules at the same time I want the user sitting on the DMZ should also be able to access internet uh, maybe at the same time I want uh, a DMZ may not from DMZ may you may not access uh, you may not want traffic to go from the DMZ to inside maybe maybe some traffic you want to restrict but mostly uh, generally you don't need any of the server to access uh, the resources in the LAN uh, at the same time you want to make sure that the user sitting on the internet let's say uh, the user sitting on the internet maybe someone sitting on the internet may want to access the Yahoo server or whatever the company web server or FTP server uh, at the same time the user sitting on the internet should not be able to access anything in my LAN so basically you you, you got this kind of requirements uh, but requirements can be different than what I discussed and, and it all depends upon uh, depends upon what you want. Now, based on that, we'll be configuring some kind of security policies. Now, again, going to uh, ASA and configuring all these policies actually makes uh, a lot of configurations. So, the ASA have a predefined uh, something called security levels. Uh, based levels are just like numbering, which can be given from zero to one hundred. So, probably what we'll do is we'll assign some level to each interface like we'll be assigning something like 100 on the interface connecting in the LAN uh, maybe something like 0 on the outside interface and something like 50 on the DMZ something like that now higher the number the more trusted that interface is now it's up to you to decide what level of trust you 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 apply on the interface so which means whenever you are connecting your ASA firewall to the LAN or the outside interface and the DMZ generally you must configure the interface with of course IP address must be there uh, and also the no shutdown command we generally configure these two commands even on the routers but there are two additional configurations we have to do it here is one is name if name if is like we have to give some name to this interface you might be connecting G0 by 1 G0 by 2 G0 by 3 here let's say but when we are configuring most of the configurations like maybe an ACL, maybe NAT or maybe some kind of VPN configurations we do in the later on sessions. So when we correlate these configurations to the interface, we don't refer them as G0 by 1. We actually refer this with some name. We had to give some name. I can give any name, but commonly we say inside. That's a common name we use. You can say inside, you can say LAN, you can say uh, internal network, whatever you want, you can actually 
say any name it, it's up to you so two additional parameters we need to configure compared to the routers one is you have to give some name so if you don't give the name the interface is not going to work at the same time we also need to define the security level like the level of trust on that interface so the default levels which we use in general is for inside interface we follow with 100 and then outside is not not really trusted because this inside is trusted anything coming from the outside interface you don't really trust so we generally give the least number uh, least of all is zero and probably the traffic which is coming from the dmz interface you you may trust uh, maybe in between the zero and hundred you can give 50. it's up to you you can design any name uh, any any number in this range but this is something what we generally use now based on the security levels now once we define the security levels now based on the level or the numbering what we assign let's say i'm giving 100 here zero here uh, 50 here based on the levels or the numbers what we assign there is a default security policy traffic flow uh, on through the asa from one interface to another interface so by default all the traffic coming from higher to lower is allowed by default which means the users sitting in the lan automatically they can access or send the traffic anything on the internet at the same time return traffic will come because asa will do stateful packet inspection so stateful packet inspection i already discussed it, it means that the return traffic will be allowed automatically uh, based on the state table uh, at the same time the user sitting in the lan will be able to access anything on the dmz servers automatically by default and the user sitting on the internet cannot access anything on the DMZ because 0 to 50, lower to higher is not allowed by default. So higher to lower is allowed, but lower to higher is not allowed by default. At the same time, the user sitting on the DMZ cannot access anything in the LAN and, and the user sitting on the internet cannot initiate any traffic into the LAN in general. So this is the default security policy which allows the ASA to automatically uh, permit or deny some traffic based on the signal levels. Okay, now what if I want to allow the traffic from uh, users on the internet to the DMZ? Now in that case, we need to configure some ACL on this interface, which will explicitly uh, we need to define some permit statement to explicitly allow the users on the internet to access on the DMZ. Uh, likewise let's say you want to restrict some traffic from the LAN to the internet which is by default allowed we can apply some acl to tell the deny deny the traffic and of course we need to say permit ip any any rest of the traffic is permitted now once we apply the acl on this interface any interface let's say once you apply the acl now this this is something what um, i'm talking about if there is no acl configured in general the default the default rule will will, will verify anyway in the in the next uh, section when we do the basic configurations but once you apply the acl what traffic is allowed or denied it will be decided by the acl so if the acl says hello it will allow if the acl says deny it will automatically deny the traffic so this is something you need to remember so always you need to see if if there is uh, if there is some kind of issue connectivity issue like the users complain they are not able to access anything on the dmz server so you, you verified everything, but you need also need to check the ASA. Is there any ACL configured? Because if there is no ACL configured, normally they can access because uh, 100 to 50 is by default allowed, higher to lower. But if there is an ACL and configured on this interface, and if that interface is not uh, defined with a permit statement to allow, it's not going to allow. So these are the default security levels and, and default traffic flow. Uh, from between the interfaces based on the security levels and automatically stateful packet inspection is done which means uh, if you are trying to access the dmz automatically return traffic is allowed even though uh, 0 to 50 50 sorry 50 to 100 is not allowed because uh, the traffic is not initiated it is actually a return traffic 